Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing an H&M haul and I have a special unboxing for you guys. So before I get into the H&M haul, I wanted to unbox a PR package that I received. I was contacted by a company called Thread Tank and they sent me a couple of t-shirts to review and I wanted to tell you guys my honest opinion. I've never heard of this company before they contacted me, but I was really excited because they're a graphic t-shirt company and I love graphic tees. I think they're really cute layered under blazers and you know, just to like go around on the weekends and run your errands, it's just fun to have a graphic t-shirt on. So let's just start off with the unboxing. Um, this is their packaging here. I thought it was really cute. I took it out of the, the standard mailbox packaging and then this is what I found. So it's wrapped up in brown paper and then it has a sticker that, that seals it up. It looks like a little envelope and it says stories you can wear. There's a little note that says thank you. We're so excited to have you as a part of our Thread Tank family. We love to align your, our brand with those who aspire to inspire. Everyone has a voice and we're so glad that you are letting us be a part of your journey. Thread Tank Apparel is designed and handcrafted in Los Angeles, California. Our tops are super soft, comfy, and best of all, it tells your story. And I think this is really cute. And then it says stories you can wear here on the card. That's really nice. I don't know for sure, but I'm assuming that everybody gets this little card. Um, it's a pretty general message, but it's a really nice, sweet message. And then it has X's and hearts. And I, I really like that, it says thank you. So customer appreciation, that's really important. So when Thread Tank contacted me, they gave me the option of picking out the tees that I wanted. The way I had them in mind to style before I got them, I just felt like gray was just gonna be really versatile for me. So I went with the gray t-shirts. Now right away, I can tell you guys, these are really soft. They are as soft as they say. I really like it, it feels really nice quality. They're not super thin and see-through. They are thin, but in a great way. I like my t-shirts to be lightweight. It's not gonna get cold here where I live for a long time, so these are gonna be really great to lay under blazers. The first one I have says, all I need is sparkle and mascara. I thought this one was super cute because it had pink writing, and I just think it's super girly. I really like that message. The next one I chose says, sorry I'm late, I didn't wanna come. I love that one because I just think it's funny. I mean, let's just say I'm working on my punctuality. So I feel like this is totally appropriate for me. I love this t-shirt, it's really fun, it's a lot of fun. On both t-shirts they have little tags and the tags say, stories are chapters we write about our lives journeys. Memories are diaries that we carry with us. At Thread Tank, every shirt has a beginning and most importantly, a great ending. How will your story go? The pen is in your hands and the rest is still unwritten. Oh, that's so cute, I like that. That's really nice and thoughtful. So clearly they're really thoughtful and they just want you guys to know that they care about you and I like that, I really do feel appreciated. These little messages are really nice because honestly, a lot of times, I mean, all the time, you spend money with these companies and like I buy tons of stuff and it's really, not that thoughtful at all. I mean, I like the items that I pick, but it really makes a difference when a company goes the extra mile, so I really like that. Okay, you guys, here's the first shirt. Sorry I'm late, I didn't wanna come. I love this shirt, I love the fit of it. It's a nice slim fit, I would say. It fits my arms really nicely, it's not oversized, but if you did want an oversized fit, I probably would just go up a size. My true size is a medium, and I ordered both shirts in a medium, and I really like this one. I mean, honestly, I would wear this shirt. This shirt feels just like a really great shirt that I would get from Nordstrom or a department store or Nordstrom Rack or anything like that. Like all the places that I shop, these are the types of t-shirts I look for. I love these materials. It doesn't feel like it's gonna fall apart in the wash. I really like it. I, I mean, I'm, I'm honestly impressed. I didn't have any expectations going into this because I mean, they sent it to me and you just never know what to expect when you're getting something for free. So I really am pleasantly surprised actually. I really like this a lot. So for me, I'd probably just do a half tuck with this because if you guys watch my channel, you know I always do a French tuck actually is what it's called. So <laughs> I'll just do a little tuck like that. And I love this. I really like the way it fits through here. It's nice and figure flattering. That's really important. And the V is not too deep. So if I wanted to wear this to work, I could. And I could still have some like jewelry layered here if I wanted to, something a little shorter. I think it's perfect. And if you're a larger bust, you don't have to worry about showing too much cleavage. This is actually a really, really nice t-shirt. Okay, so here's the second shirt, you guys. All I need is sparkle and mascara. I love this one because it's super girly. The same fit as the other shirt. It's you know nice and fitted through the middle. It's definitely made for a woman. I mean, it's not like they're selling you a generic t-shirt that is unisex. This one is definitely a woman's cut because it's just really figure flattering. 
This one I went with a crew neck because I like the way the writing was gonna look with the crew neck. I really love the t-shirts. They really are as soft as they say. They're super cute. I mean, it's nothing to it. They're just great t-shirts and I'm really, really happy about that. I would definitely go back to the site and buy more because I'm always looking for fun graphic tees and I would probably just do this again. A nice little French tuck and that's it. Throw in some sneakers, maybe a blazer, um, shorts, a denim jacket. This is really cute. I'm really happy about these. So I definitely recommend. I'm gonna link everything in the description box so you guys can go and check them out as well. I also have a coupon code I'm gonna leave in the description box. So if you guys are interested, use my coupon code. I would really appreciate it. Um, I want you guys to check these out because I'm really happy with them. And I guess I'm so impressed because I, like I said, I didn't have any expectations for this brand at all because I never heard of them before this. But they're definitely somebody who's on my radar now. So check them out if you guys are interested, if you like graphic tees. And also if you guys are interested, let me know in the comments. I'll do a how to style graphic tees lookbook or outfit ideas or something like that because I'm definitely gonna incorporate these into my wardrobe. So if you guys wanna see how to style graphic tees, let me know in the comments. So now let's get on to the H&M haul because I know that's why you guys are all here and I'm really excited about that. Let's just get into the next outfit. Here's the first look you guys. Love this corduroy suit. So I went up quite a few sizes in the skirt, maybe like two sizes, just because I wanted to make sure that it wasn't going to be too short because it is a mini skirt. And a lot of times with mini skirts, they just like are like super short for me because my hips are so big. But I love this one. So I, de I went up a couple sizes. I'm gonna list everything in the description with the size. So that way you guys can like use your best judgment if you wanna order. And then for the top, I went with this zebra print brown and tan top. I think it looks so cute with the corduroy, with this shade of the corduroy, like this camel color. Love that. I'm probably gonna have to get the skirt taken in a little bit because it is a little too big in the waist, but everywhere else fits perfectly and that's really the way you should shop because you wanna fit the biggest part of your self and then you can tailor everything else down. I really like that. This top is so perfect with this outfit. It's a thin, lightweight, slinky knit, so it's really nice and comfortable underneath this heavy corduroy. I mean, I'm pretty hot right now because it's like it was like 90 degrees today, but for the fall and winter, this is gonna be so cute with tights. Oh my goodness, this is gonna be so cute with tights. These boots are not H&M, but they're a new find, and I really lucked out with these. They're actually Nine West, can you believe that? I feel like I haven't had luck with Nine West in years. So I just walked into TJ Maxx, and they had these. I mean, I was like instantly obsessed with them. I love the wooden heel. But I think it looks really cute with this. Like I said, it's gonna be cute with tights as well. And this blazer is gonna be great with jeans to separate. So I love suits or sets or coordinated sets because you can split them up and get multiple looks out of them. Love this. I went up a size in the blazer too because I'm into like an oversized fit. I wanna treat the blazer more like a coat because I can wear heavier turtlenecks or heavier sweaters underneath and that'll be really cute. But love this. I love that last look so much that I wanted to do it in a cream color. So I also got the suit in this color. I love this one. I don't really know which one I love more, but I have the same top in a leopard print and I really like this combination. I didn't have it in mind when I bought it. I didn't plan to wear it together, but I really like the way it looks because the buttons are darker. And it's kind of like, um, not a leopard, but maybe like a tortoise. So I think the dark buttons look really nice with this turtleneck. And then I just throw on my sneakers because I just wanted to give you guys a different look with sneakers because you could definitely throw on some sneakers with this look. And then you could do a bare leg earlier in the fall and then switch it out to like flat boots instead. But I really like this a lot. Again, I'm gonna break this up and wear it tons of different ways. Here's a really cute streetwear look. I love this sweatshirt. It's a tie-dye neutral. I've really been into tie-dye, but I missed out on a lot of the tie-dye this summer. So I like that this is a nice transition into full tie-dye. These leather look leggings are really great. They're comfortable, they're stretchy. I feel like they look more expensive than they really were. They're great quality. And I just really like this whole outfit. I, with gold accessories, I think it's perfect. It's definitely me. And I just styled it with some sneakers because I wanted to do that whole streetwear effect. And I just love this. This is really cute. So I quickly switched out my pants just to show you guys these leggings that I got. I'm not gonna pair it like this. I just don't have another H&M item to style it with. But I'm gonna wear these with a chunky sweater, a really chunky, like nice, maybe camel color sweater and some over the knee boots or sneakers. I like these a lot. They're nice and thick. They fit really well and they have a high waist. The darting here or the seam going down the front of the leg is 
very flattering, and then it has these little zip pockets here that are slanted. I'm gonna wear these with a chunky oversized sweater because that's how I like to wear my leggings and with some over the knee boots. These are really comfortable and stretchy. Recommend. <laughs> Here's the next look, you guys. I'm going for a winter white look. I love a winter white look. I feel like it looks really elevated. It's just really sophisticated and it's just perfect. So here's a knit, a rib knit. Love this one, it's really comfortable. It fits really nicely, I got my true size. This is perfect. Now the pants, I really like the idea of these pants. I like them a lot. I had to go up a size because, well they didn't have my size, but I think I would have had to go up a size anyway just because they're white and you don't want them to be too tight. Now I don't know if I'm gonna keep these pants because they're not lined and they are too big in the waist so I'll have to get them taken in. And I don't know if they're just worth it overall because they weren't expensive and the quality is not that amazing for, for me to go through all the trouble. But I like the idea of this look and I definitely want to do winter white a lot this winter. Now this top is a great example of a basic knit. I love these sorts of tops because they're just easy. They look put together and you don't have to think about it. I love the color, it's a nice blush color. It's perfect for the fall, it's a nice nude, it goes really well paired with my Gucci mules and my jeans. This is just an easy top. They didn't have any other colors, just this one. So hopefully they'll um, add to the collection as we progress into the fall, but I really love this top and I would definitely recommend it. It's super soft as well. It is long sleeve, but I'm gonna ruch up the sleeves like this. And then this color looks really great with gold jewelry. This next outfit, love it. I was really excited about this blazer as soon as I saw it because I'm really into red right now. I really want to incorporate reds and yellows into my fall wardrobe and winter wardrobe. So when I saw this one, I just had to have it. I really like the check print and it's cream and red. The lighter color in there is a creamy color. Really love that. I got it oversized again. I went up a size in it because I want to treat my blazers this fall more like coats. And then I'm just gonna pull up the sleeves. Now, once I start wearing a chunkier, maybe like a turtleneck under here, I'm probably not gonna pull the sleeves up. Or maybe I will and pull the turtleneck sleeves down or the sweater sleeves down, and that's a look too. But I really like the way this looks with jeans. I could wear it closed if I wanted to because I went up a size. When I stick to my true fit, uh, I can't really close my blazers because if they're longer, they're not gonna close over my hips. So that's a nice change, but I don't even close my blazers anyway, so it doesn't matter to me. But if that's something that's important to you, then I would say go up a size. And you still get a really good fit, like it still looks really cute. This is actually half of a suit. There was a skirt that goes exactly with this blazer, but it was a fail. It was too short and it was a little bit off. It almost reminded me of a skirt, but it didn't have shorts underneath. It was just like a, like a full wrap skirt. And it was so cute. If it fit right, it would have been perfect but it just didn't. And I'm sure it's because it wasn't cut for me. It just wasn't a good fit for me. So if you have a curvy body, I don't recommend the skirt, but I definitely recommend you trying it just to see how you feel about it. But overall, it was just a bad fitting skirt. So for me, it was a fail. But absolutely love the blazer. The only thing that I'm a little bit sad about or disappointed with in this blazer is the fact that it doesn't have a slit in the back. It's not a deal breaker. I just do prefer the slits in the back of my blazers but still gonna keep it because I think it's really cute. The camisole I'm wearing is also from H&M. I got this camisole just because it went perfectly with this blazer. The only thing about this is it has sort of a shelf lining, like it stops right under my bust. And for some reason on this side, it kind of comes up a little bit. Here it is right here. This is like the inside lining. It keeps coming up. I feel like maybe I need to iron the shirt down and press it. Hopefully that'll fix it. If not, I'm gonna take it back because it's gonna drive me crazy. But otherwise, it's perfect. It's not a traditional material, at least a material that I feel is traditional for camisoles. It's more of a, like a knit mesh or something like that, like a real tight knit mesh. I like that. Overall, perfect. Love these two pieces. Recommend. <laughs> So if there's one thing that H&M is doing right this season, it's coordinated sets. They have so many cute ones at great prices. This one I love because it's navy blue. It's a ribbed knit, so that means it's very forgiving. If you feel a little bit insecure about wearing something so form-fitting, you can rest assured that rib knit is gonna flatter you. It's gonna look really good. So I got the skirt in the top. It's a short sleeve and a mock neck. It's a shorter little turtleneck style. I love that. It's gonna look great separated, this top with jeans, this skirt with a chunkier, heavy knit sweater. It's just perfect. That's why I love 
sets. They just look like you thought about it, but you really didn't give it any thought at all. It's perfect. You get a huge bang for your buck. I just love them. So I styled it with this gold chain belt. Chain belts are extremely on trend right now. I feel like you just need to grab them while you can because I, these are something that you're always gonna wear. I think anyway, it's definitely a great style piece to have. You can always throw these on. In some cases, you can wear them as necklaces too. So if you have a few in your collection and then you just realize that you're over it, you're not into wearing them as belts anymore, try to layer them as necklaces. It's a great alternative. And then for the boots, I'm wearing these red Sam Edelman boots that I got at the Nordstrom anniversary sale. I'm so excited to wear these boots. I cannot wait until the weather's cold enough. As soon as it's cold enough, I'm gonna wear them. But I think it looks really great with the navy blue set. And that's it, a perfect, comfortable outfit. Here's the next set that I got from H&M. This is actually the one I got first, and this is the one that set it off and sent me on a hunt for all the coordinated sets H&M was gonna have this season. Love, 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 love this one. Like, I can't even tell you guys how much I love this one. It just fits perfectly. I love the pattern. It's really interesting. It's still so neutral. It's giving me Tracy Ellis Ross vibes. I just love this set so much. I love how oversized the top kind of is, the dome and sleeves ruch it up a little bit. It has a slit in the back. Really cute. It just fits really well. It's just perfect. It looks so cute with these boots. I like that the skirt is a little bit longer, so it covers the boots a little bit. So it's almost like I'm, like the boots are pants. I really like that look. It's just perfect. I don't even know what else to say, you guys, except it's perfect. So if you can get your hands on this one, you need to get it. Here's the last set that I have for you guys. I don't even know which one is my favorite. Every one I put on, I just think that that one is my favorite. But this one is so fabulous. This one is definitely not for a shy girl. If you want to be a wallflower, if you want to blend into the background, this is not the outfit for you. This is for the girl who knows that she's a fashionista and is coming through. I love this outfit. So now that I have it on under the lights, I realized that the color going through on the zebra print is more of a chocolate brown. It almost looked a little like grayish brown uh, when I was looking at it before. I actually thought it was black, so that's why I paired it with these black boots. I mean, I still think it looks cute with the black boots, but now you have another color to go off of. Maybe you could do chocolate brown boots, but I think a sock boot looks really good with it. Something really fitted on the leg just because there's so much volume going on with this and it's so loud and it's so busy, so I really like the, the sleekness of a sock boot with it. I love the way the top fits. I was gonna go down a size, but I feel like it would've took something away. I like the oversized blousey fit of it. It's really cute, it's really thick, it's really warm, and it's really cozy. It's really cozy, so I'm gonna, I'm looking forward to wearing this because it's really comfortable. It's not itchy at all. Don't be off put by the fuzzy furriness of it. It's really, really comfortable and cozy. And that's it, I, I recommend this one too. <laughs> I recommend them all. H&M has really been impressing me this season. I look forward to what's to come. We could get points now if you download the app. Every time you shop, you get points. I'm just really impressed. You could even check what they have in each store now. Like you were never able to do that with H&M. So I'm just really impressed with how far they've come and what they're doing because it just makes my shopping a lot more convenient. And I'm just excited for the fall. I love all my looks that I got from H&M and you guys should check those out and let me know where did, what have you been finding from H&M. Let me know in the comments, I would love to know. I definitely have my eye out for more full wardrobe pieces, but I wanna stick to the sort of staples, you know? I don't really wanna just go crazy and buy everything they have. I wanna pick pieces that are really filling holes in my wardrobe and I feel like at this point, I could probably use some staples, even though I get distracted by standout pieces, you know what I mean, like, like this. But I'm also gonna be able to break this up and wear it a bunch of other different ways. That's it, that's my H&M haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Let me know in the comments what your favorite piece was. Are you shopping H&M this season? If you're not, you need to. I'm gonna link everything in the description with sizes. So use those links if you wanna get anything. I do get a small commission, so I would appreciate it if you are gonna get anything to use my links. And if you're new here, welcome to Park Avenue. Check out my other content. I'm sure you're gonna see something you like. And when you do, don't forget to subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that way you don't miss any uploads. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.